Welcome back to Batman by Telltale. It's good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped. But all of this is owned and paid for by the company. The board's in a panic, but this will die down before it comes to that. I'm glad you're being optimistic about this, but I'm not so sure. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh build a back door into that tech? You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into the system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. Well, no shortage of bad news lately. Might as well just pile more on. Well, you see this back door they're using. I built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. Whoever broke in certainly knew how to cover their tracks. When the cops raided the manor, they seized every computer belonging to Wayne Enterprises. Mayor Hill must have given them to the children of Arkham. Trying to save himself, I'm sure. I'm gonna keep working on this children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. elected mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham. And this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures city. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. Uh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become. And I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Why would people stick in a criminal hellhole, especially in a country that has a considerable amount of options? Like, people would just move out if a city was deeply... Like I'm this. sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole.
Thermal vision. <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. An armed drone? I mean, I I'm fine with the idea of actually Batman using guns. I know high heresy for a lot of people, I don't care. But... I always wonder why you had a table that could hide itself. I guess it's coming in pretty handy now. Trust me. It was much more paranoia than precaution. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. And before you do... Here. Get that back to the Bat computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Mr. Wayne, Bruce, open up. I thought maybe you'd left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. This is just a temporary setback. Well, that's entirely up to you, Bruce. You need to prove to the board that you can be trusted in the seat. Just lie low. Don't cause a scene. It'll turn out. I ask to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Seriously? Bruce, Good to see you again. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... I hear you've been keeping yourself pretty busy, Oswald. You sure you can handle this? I mean, wasn't there a revolution that you had to handle? I'm a brilliant multitasker. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. 
Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Pick it up. Now! No, no, it's all right. Bruce has been through enough today, hasn't he? Oh. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. This way, Bruce. Hmm. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. Really? You make him CEO? Seems weird. It happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you? This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. Just stay out of it. Don't go near it and they won't be able to connect it to you. It's not that easy. Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. But... No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But... You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D, and let me know if anything comes up. Keep that drive safe. I... I think it's more important to have a spy than the gadgets. The gadgets might be useful in a situation, but the information is more Bruce so, Wayne more important. will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. That's why I'm glad I have you, Al. Always. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Lieutenant Gordon, he said there's nothing to be done about Oswald Cobblepot. All his records are spotless. He needs proof to dig further. Penguin Slippery, all right. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. 
If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is what else they'd be interested in. Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. City Hall, record of Gotham mayors. Hill had been in office for so long it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time, but... ...statement of the century, considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes, just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Not yet. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Maybe Keep it's an just eye on fluff. This, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. Welcome back, Mr. Wayne. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, 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 just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Ah, uh, hey, Harv. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that. I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Whoa, whoa, what is your problem? You're being a bit erratic. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm just a little shaky. My nerves are totally shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no, what? Uh, good, no, that's, that's good. You can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been... Looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. I'd be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. Like I don't deserve it. After all, is it really a win if it's by default? Trust me, Arv. You were born to do this. You're the only person that can make a difference here. Part of me thinks you're just lying to make me feel better. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me. Are we being watched? What is going on? 
The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. Oh, I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while, that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there, in the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare, and I can't get out. They don't run this city, Harvey. You do. You have the highest authority in Gotham. You have all the power, not them. I'm not so sure, Bruce. I'm telling you, they've grown too powerful too fast. I don't know if I can do it on my own. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. And maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. Just think, imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Nah, then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. And they won't see it coming. This is dangerous. Extremely dangerous. <sighs> Harvey, look, you've been under a lot of stress, especially with all the trauma recently. Maybe... Maybe you should- Don't tell Harvey what to do, Wayne! Don't you dare. Oh, God. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I guess I just lost myself a little bit there. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Look, Harvey, that therapist you told me about, I think you should call her. Maybe she can help you work through whatever this is that you're going through. Just think about it, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. See you around, Bruce. I'm all for harsh methods if they're necessary, but <sighs> law and order is more more than just getting results done with crime. An now, interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Like, here's the thing, if an entire country's system, the courts, the police, all that, if they're all corrupt, then that might work for a while. Clear point, that's what's happening, say, the Philippines with Duterte. They resort, like, he resorts to death squads, to vigilante groups, he works outside the bounds of the law in order to get things done. But even Duterte realizes something that's crucial that that's only temporary he says it himself you look in a perfect world you wouldn't have someone like me and he is working to improve the state of the police he is working to improve the courts the politicians all that corruption is endemic it's not just one issue you can't just fight crime with death squads or vigilante groups you you need to reform uh, police judges all that the police in gotham has its problems obviously but there are people that they are trying to do their jobs it's not the corruption that's killing so what Harvey is suggesting is insane anyway uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette it just arrived a moment ago 
It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Yeah, if she's been able to talk to their leader, then by extension, so can we. You think she'd hand that information over to Bruce Wayne? And I gave her Montoya's name after Falcone was shot. She might be willing to trade. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss Vale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? Hello? Batman. I, I didn't realize that Batman was a fan of my work. Didn't say I was a fan. Just said I wanted to talk. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Incredibly dangerous. Very much so. Alright. Christine signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video.